Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic. And today I've got my spring melting basket to share with you guys. So technically it's not spring until late March, but I'm just really ready for spring scents. I've never really been a floral, fresh, fruity, that type of scent person until this year. I don't know what is happening, but I've been already melting beachy scents, beach nights, spring, like fresh aquatic, some floral, some fruity. And I mean, who is she? I have no idea, but I've really been enjoying it. And so going through my collection and finding things, I was just like, you know, I'm not going to call this a March melting basket. I'm just going to do a spring melting basket because these are scents that I want to focus on during the entire like spring season and then also because april april lee wax queen here on youtube she is doing like a vendor focused month every month and so i definitely want to participate in that for march so i thought since i would already be doing whatever vendor she chooses for the month that i could pick some of these things to kind of like work through as well and some stuff that i maybe had forgotten in my collection and i'm just excited to try since i've just gotten this new excitement for fruity fresh aquatic scents so if you want to see what's in my spring melting basket grab a snack and grab a drink because it's going to be a long one and let's chat wax Okay, you guys, as you all know, my melting baskets just keep getting bigger and bigger. I just am so excited to pull things from my collection. And so this spring is no different. So stay hydrated and let's get through what I chose for spring. Okay, so let's start with Scentsy. Okay, so first up, I chose Orchard by the Sea. And I'm sorry, I did not pull scent notes. But this one is just kind of like... It's like a salty sea air with apple, but the apple's not a Mac apple. It's just kind of like a fruity, like maybe like a red apple. It's really, really nice though. I love the salty sea air with fruit. I'm really into that. So I'm really excited for this one. Then I have Soak and Raise. And I love this bar. So I melted this in my office last week. And I'm obsessed with it, you guys. It's kind of just like that beachy sunscreen. Um, it kind of gives me like Bobbi Brown Beach vibes. And I love that. I used to wear that perfume all the time when I was younger. And it's just a really nice like sunscreeny type of scent. And this did so well. And so I'm so excited to warm it again. Next, this is another favorite of mine from Scentsy. This is Starburst Sky, and I'm so excited. This is coming back to catalog for spring, summer. So I am definitely going to be putting this in my club. This smells amazing. It gives me kind of like Baccarat Rouge 540 vibes. And I know some people get like an ashtray smell when they warm this. Thankfully, I don't. It just smells amazing. I'm obsessed with it, and so excited to warm that. This is a new bar to me that I've never warmed before, and I was a little scared because of the title of it. It's called Pink Rhubarb Sugar. I do not care for rhubarb. The only time I've really ever smelled rhubarb is with strawberry, and it's just too tangy for me or something with it. And so um, I never tried this bar. And then I heard a lot of people talk about it, and I think it went on clearance. And I was like, you know what? I'll just try it because with Scentsy, the scent notes are kind of like, just a suggestion for me because a lot of times the scent notes do not sound like something I would enjoy and then I end up loving it. So, and yeah, this is nice. So it's just very, very sweet. It's almost like, it's almost a little perfumey, but it's sweet fruity. And yeah, it's not super tangy. So I don't mind that at all. That's really nice. Pink rhubarb sugar. This is another new one to me. I got this, I think, on the D-Stash group, the Scentsy D-Stash group, and this is Thunderstorm. I can't remember who I heard talk about this. It might have been Susan, but this smells so good. It's like an aquatic, fresh, a little bit salty maybe, 
like salty sea air or like a fresh air. It's very atmospheric and I just love the way this smells on cold. So I'm really pumped to warm thunderstorm. This is another old fave. This is maraschino sugar cookie. I feel like everybody loves this one. So it was just fun and fruity with a bakery twist. So, you know, it's, it's always a good time to warm this bar. Then I grabbed Ruby Nectarine, which I really like this bar as well. Um, and it's just straight fruity, like citrus sweet fruity. But it's really, really pretty and fun. And so really looking forward to that one. So next up is one that I've recently tried when I was like going through this fresh, fruity, tropical, beachy vibe that I've been warming this past couple of weeks. And this is Skinny Dippin'. And this is like a fruity, um, like melon. I think there's maybe apple. It's just a really fun, fruity scent. And I really enjoyed it. So looking forward to that again. Next, I grabbed Angel Experiment 624. I really like this bar. It's been in my club for a while. And it just smells like cotton candy. It's so sweet. It's kind of lighter, but it smells really good. It's just sweet cotton candy smells what I get from this one. Then I grabbed Ocean Air and Coconut Water. I don't know what is going on with me, but I've really been into coconut lately. Like tropical coconut. And this smells really good. It's like a fresh, salty sea air with a tropical coconut. It smells really nice. So looking forward to trying this one out. And then the last Scentsy bar I pulled is Red, White, and Berry Pie. I love this one. It's just fruity bakery. It's like cherry. And I don't know what else, but it smells really good. It's just like cherry pie. Mm, really, really nice. So that's all the Scentsy that I pulled for spring. And then let's get into vendor. Okay, I tried to kind of organize by vendor. And I also just took out Rose Girls and Scoopable Tart Wax because April is doing Rose Girls slash Scoopable for her vendor of the month. So I will pull all of those scents and put them aside and put them in my March vendor focus melting basket in that tag that April's doing because I definitely want to participate again. So if you don't see any of that vendor, that's why. So everything else, um, I've been going through my collection and doing like an overhaul again and like grabbing things to de-stash. I'm sure you've probably seen me if you're a member of Lighten My Stash on Facebook. So I've gotten a lot of stuff out of here, but I will say I have been kind of going nuts with Teddy Bees and Salt Mountain and just like, it's like I make room and then I just fill it up. I've got to get it under control. But anyway, what you're here for. So spring vendor. Okay, let's start over here with Sassy Girl Aroma. And let me just say, I know Julie lost her store with that devastating fire. And I'm just, my heart goes out to Julie. I'm so heartbroken for her. I know she's been through so very much. And so my prayers and thoughts go out to Julie and her whole entire family. And I hope that she can feel all of our love and support because I know Julie has been one of my top vendors since my very first order. I love her wax and I just know that, you know, we're all going to band together and support her however we can. I know she has, somebody started a GoFundMe. So I will link her GoFundMe in the description box down below if that's something that you would like to contribute to. So Sassy Girl Aroma, what I pulled, the first one is Catered Affair, Blackberry, Strawberry, Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, and S'mores. So this is basically Beach Nights with Blackberry and Strawberry, which, yes, please. I love Beach Nights. I feel like I've never smelled one of her Beach Nights blends that I didn't like. And yeah, it's very strawberry forward. It's like a fresh strawberry, really fruity, and the Beach Nights is in the background, but like out of the bag, the first thing I smell is strawberry, mm, but it smells really good. I feel like when you take the little blocks out of the bag, you can smell the blackberry as well as the Beach Nights, but just opening that bag, it was just like, whoo, fresh strawberry. 
But yeah, that's a really nice fruity beach night. So that again is catered affair. And then next up, I pulled Beach Bummin, which is Beach Nights and Shake Your Boom Boom, which I don't know if that's just like Boom Boom, like Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream or what it is, but all I know is it smells amazing. It's like Beach Nights and then that warmth of the Boom Boom Cream, which is like pistachio, vanilla. It just gives it a warmth. So, so nice. This is so beautiful. Love that. And then lastly, from Sassy Girl, I chose Hawaiian Sun, which I think is her Honolulu Sun dupe. Summer Vacation in Hawaii, Fresh Cut Melon, Island Coconut, and Palm Leaves. I loved Honolulu Sun when Bath & Body Works carried it. I loved it in body care and wallflowers, candles, you name it. It was one of my favorites. And I don't know, is this... Is this the dupe for it? Maybe it's not. Hmm. It smells similar, but I don't know. I feel like Honolulu Sun has more coconut. I don't know. I've never warmed this, so somebody let me know in the comments. Either way, it smells really good and tropical and fun. So really excited for that. Next, I have a few things from L3, and L3 is another one. It's just kind of been a heartbreaking week or two in the vendor wax community. L3 just announced that they're going to be closing in September due to some personal reasons, and I'm just beyond devastated. I love L3. I love Sassy Girl, two of my favorite vendors, and I'm just so sad. I'm hoping that Jennifer will be able to reopen at some point, but I'm glad that she gave us a long enough time, you know, six, seven months in order to stock up. And I know she's going to be offering some favorites in the meantime so we can stock up. But I pulled two Trig Tarts from L3. The first one is Chlorine. And this is a really popular scent of hers. And I've had it for probably a year. And it's like, I don't even know what's in this. But it's like swimming pool, kind of sunscreeny. It's really, really pretty. But it's perfect for spring, summer. So I'm excited to warm that. And then I also pulled Bobby Brown Beach, which you guys know I just talked about that. I love this scent. It's so nice. It's fresh. It's beachy. It's perfect. It's spot on. It smells just like the perfume. And so really excited to warm that as well. From Fantasy Wax Melts, I have Summer Breeze, which is watermelon and salty sea air. I think Fantasy is the first vendor that I tried watermelon with salty sea air. And I really love the combo. Fruity scents with salty sea air just really work for me and my nose. It's gorgeous. It's like the salty sea air gives it an aquatic freshness. And then the watermelon is just so sweet and juicy. This is a really nice combo. I think I warmed this last year. And so really glad to have, I think this is my last snap bar. So really looking forward to warming that. And then I also pulled the chosen one from Fantasy Wax Melts. Honey buttered rolls, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and cornbread. I love honey butter. I love all three of those notes actually. And yeah, that cornbread is very, it's more of like savory. But then the blackberry jam butter cookies really sweeten it up. The honey buttered rolls, it's like a hint of cinnamon and that bready note. Really, really creamy and sweet, and it's just really nice. So looking forward to that. Okay, I've got two from Southbound. The first one is called Seaside Treats. Marshmallow frosted graham crackers, salty sea air with a touch of cotton candy. So this is kind of, I'm getting the marshmallow frosted graham crackers and that's like sort of the base. It's kind of a heavier base, the graham crackers with the creamy marshmallow. And then you get the salty sea air and cotton candy to kind of freshen it up, brighten it up, give it a little more of sweetness. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. And then next from Southbound is Salty Siren. I love this scent. Southbound's lavender is one of the best, honestly. This is lavender marshmallow cream and salty sea air. 
I love lavender with salty sea air. I think I just love salty sea air. Must be it. Yeah, this is bright and fresh. And then you get that sweet lavender with a creamy marshmallow. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's just like a really fun, fresh lavender. It's very refreshing but still calm at the same time. I think I mentioned in another one of my videos that there's like, it was a good like daytime lavender because I feel like herbal, chamomile, lavender, those types of scents, I'm more prone to warm at night. This one is more like a daytime lavender. It kind of reminds me of Sea Salt Lavender Breeze from Scoopable Wax Melts. That's one of my favorite scents, if not my favorite from her. And this kind of gives me those vibes. Really, really, really good. I kind of want to smell those next to each other and see. Okay. So I had to grab it. You guys know how I am. Um, spoiler alert. This is going to be in my vendor specific March. The Sea Salt Lavender Breeze. So I feel like the Scoopable Wax Melts one is more of like the salty sea air heavy. And then the Southbound is more lavender heavy. So they are different but similar. I like them both. Okay, next from Lavender and Speckles, I have three. The first one is Boom Boom. This is coconut cream, pistachio, tonka, vanilla, and sandalwood. And I think this is just the Sol de Janeiro dupe of the Boom Boom cream. And this is a beautiful scent. It's very warm, nutty, creamy. Really nice for spring, summer. I love this. Because it's the nutty pistachio. It's not the cherry bakery artificial pistachio. And so you get that creamy warmth, the nuttiness. Then you get those earthy vibes from the sandalwood. It's just really, really nice. Very, very good blend. And this bag is quite old and it still smells very strong. So I thought I would just go ahead and finish that up. And then the next two are new scents that I got in the February pre-order. This one is Tangerine Fizzy Pound Cake. This is Tangerine 7-Up Pound Cake and Pie Crust. I actually got this as a sample in the January pre-order. Loved it so much that I picked up a bag. And this is just citrus bakery goodness. You get that fizziness from the 7-Up Pound Cake. You get the bright, fun citrus. This is just really, really nice, you guys. So lemon pound cake, I don't mind that either, but you guys know I'm going to break up with lemon, sort of. We're kind of trying to get back together right now, but this is just, it's different. The tangerine is just like a less harsh version of citrus. It's not orange. It's just, it's nice. It's more sweet citrus bakery. And I feel like everybody needs to try this because it's so fun. That effervescence just gives it such a fun vibe and I love that. And then lastly from Lavender and Speckles, we have my newest obsession. If you guys are in her Facebook group or have watched any of my videos, you've heard me mention this and rave about it. I am obsessed. This is Coastal Pine Cones. This scent is everything. Everyone needs it. It's a spring summer pine cone scent, which I warm pine cones year round, but this scent right here, you guys, is something special. It's so good. It's right up there with Palo Santa and Donut Shop and Palo Santo. It's amazing. Roasted pine cones with hints of lemon, marine air, and sea greens. She is offering it in the March pre-order. I think the date is March 16th. You guys, pick this up. If you like roasted pine cones, this is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's fresh. You get that little hint of pine cone. So you get the marine air, which is a little bit different than salty sea air, okay? It's aquatic. Then you get that green sea green. So it's aquatic, a little bit salty. You get the greenery. You get a little hint of the lemon. And then rounding out this blend is that wonderful roasted pine cone oil that Beth has and does so well. She did amazing with this blend right here. It's so unique. I have nothing else like it. And it's one of those scents, like the more you smell it, the more you like it. And you can just like pick out different things. It's just, it's so good. 
If you don't like it, message me and I'll buy it from you. I'm definitely going to pick up one or two loaves of this in March. It's amazing. It's amazing. Coastal pine cones. So looking forward to that. And I'm only warming it because she's offering it in loaves in a couple of weeks. Y'all know how I'm about the backup situation. Okay. From Swanky. I think I just have one. This is a loaf and sailor's kiss. Salty sea air at the beach in Blue Lagoon. Swanky is a wax. Like, it's just stunning. Let me just take this out. This is actually gifted to me by my friend Nicole. So, Nicole, if you're watching, thank you so much. This is beautiful. That seahorse. Oh, my gosh. So, this smells amazing. It's very salty sea air. At the beach, is that the Bath and Body Works do? Because I love that. And I don't know what Blue Lagoon is, but to me, this is just the same. It's it's tropical. It's fresh. It's aquatic. A little bit warm. But this is so pretty. This would be great in, like, body care. Sailor's Kiss is gorgeous. It's creamy, salty sea air beach vibes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Really looking forward to this one. Okay, from Teddy B's, I have Blackberry Boardwalk. So pumped for this one. Beach Treats, Sweet Lavender, Blackberries, and Plumeria. How fun is that color? That is so good. I love Sweet Lavender. I love Teddy B's Lavender. So you do get the Plumeria, but I feel like mixed with the blackberries and lavender, it's just a really nice like body care type of like fruity, fresh, floral, and then the beach treats. I feel like anything with beach treats I'm going to love. So really looking forward to this one. This was poured June on my birthday, actually, June 23rd of 2023. So it should be ready to go. And then I also pulled this little sample that someone included in one of my D-Stash orders. And I'm so excited because I love this scent and I'm dying for it to come back. This is Sweetheart Cookies from Teddy B's. And I'm going to do this in my office. There's two pieces here. This is such a pretty scent, you guys. I think it's like bakery, like cookies with pink sugar. And Tiffany does pink sugar so well. I think that's what's in here. It smells amazing. Oh, I hope she brings it back. Or if anybody has this and would like to de-stash it, please message me. I'm obsessed. From Vintage Chic, I pulled Beach Bombshell, Bright Citrus, Coconut Lotion, and Sea Salt. This sounded perfect. So this is very like salty sea air. That's basically all I'm smelling. I get the citrus and the salty sea air. Not getting a whole ton of the coconut lotion. But hopefully it'll come out more on warm. This was poured October 19th of 23. So that is this one. Then from Candles from the Keeping Room, I pulled a sample in Lavender Marshmallow. I've been really, y'all know how much I love sweet lavender, but I feel like I've been warming the heck out of it lately. And this is just beautiful, sweet, creamy lavender. Smells so good. Candles from the Keeping Room does really well in my home. I like to melt these little samples in my office. Just cut it in half. It does really well. Really excited for that. Then I have a few here from Super Tarts. The first one is Sea Dreams. Ocean Breezes, Vanilla Bean Noel, Red Delicious Apple, and Herbal Lavender. You guys know I love lavender and apple. This kind of gave me like Lavender Girl from Lavender and Speckles vibes. So it's like salty sea air, apple, lavender, and then the creaminess of the vanilla B. Noel. Gorgeous blend. Everything's blended really well. And I feel like this one with the red delicious apple, the apple is not so obvious. Just gives a little sweetness and it's really, really pretty. That's going to be so good for like bedroom, bathroom, sea dreams. I also pulled Chomper. This is a Jaws blend. So this is Mac Apple blended with Jaws. And Jaws is sea salt, fresh air, seagrass, sliced plum, and sweet pear. Jaws is so good. And if I had any more in my collection, I would definitely have that in this melting basket. So I think she's going to be shipping the Wax Wednesday orders in March. So I will finally have some Jaws back in my collection. But this is so good. 
Jaws is such a unique blend, but it's so good and it's such a strong performer. I cannot wait to warm this. That is Chomper. Okay, and I pulled a few from Rainbow Melts. First up is just Beach Nights. Sea Salt, Toasted Marshmallow, and Frosted Graham Crackers. Love a good Beach Nights blend. And this kind of smells like Southbound's version of Beach Nights, the Seaside Treats. I'm getting more of like the Frosted Graham Crackers with the marshmallow. And then the Sea Salt in the background, but that's really pretty. Beach Nights from Rainbow Melts. Then I pulled Seize the Day, Salty Sea Air, Sweet Lavender, and Gooey Marshmallow Cream. I feel like I get the Salty Sea Air the most, and then you get the background of that Sweet Lavender. Really, really pretty. Seize the Day. Then I pulled Beach Bum, which is Beach Nights, and Boom Boom Cream. Oh, yeah, the Boom Boom Cream is what I smell the most. It's that warmth, nutty, really creamy. And then the Beach Nights in the background. So that's going to be really nice. Then I pulled Beach Bonfire, Sea Salt, Bonfire, Bliss, and Marshmallow. That's good. It's Sea Salt and then... A little bit what is bonfire bliss it doesn't smell smoky but it smells kind of woodsy earthy but that's nice beach bonfire it's a little lighter but still pretty i pulled sea salt and driftwood clean ocean air salted driftwood warm amber and sand dunes And yeah, again, that just aquatic, fresh, really, really pretty for a bedroom or bathroom. Or you could totally warm this in the open concept anywhere, really. But I like to warm like these types of scents in the bedroom, bathroom. And then lastly, from Rainbow Melts, I pulled Palo Santo, Rain, and Black Sea. I don't know the notes of Black Sea, but... Okay, so this is a little more like earthy fresh the palo santo and then i don't know what's in black sea but it's a little earthier maybe like some wood the rain still gives you an aquatic vibe it's like fresh this is really nice so yeah that smells so good that's palo santo rain and black sea from rainbow melts and then lastly i have a few from salt mountain melts First up is Bedtime Snack, Lavender Marshmallow Strawberry White Cake. I got this in a D-stash and I'm so excited. I have a bigger one. I think I got a loaf of it as well. And yeah, that smells so good. I love lavender and strawberry, especially for spring, summer. It's sweet lavender and then you really get the strawberry white cakes. So you get bakery, you get the sweet kind of almost a little bit tart of the strawberry. And then that really nice white cake. It smells so good. Again, this is like really bright. It's a really good daytime lavender. Really excited for that. I pulled Queen of Dessert, which, yes, please. Raspberry jam, zucchini bread, and yellow cake. Her raspberry jam is bomb, you guys. It's like the really sweet raspberry jam. It's not the floral body care raspberry. It's gorgeous. And the zucchini bread and yellow cake, it's just raspberry bakery heaven. It's almost giving me like a peanut butter and jelly type of scent, but there's no peanut butter in this, obviously. But it's just, it's jam and bread. And then with the yellow cake, it's gorgeous. So good. Okay, next from Salt Mountain, I pulled Ferris Wheel After Dark, which is one of my faves. Caramel tobacco, funnel cake, and cotton candy. She just poured that again for her most recent pre-order that she's pouring now. May or may not have gotten a few loaves of that. This scent is everything, you guys. So caramel tobacco. So it's a creamy, still a little bit sweet tobacco. Then you get funnel cake. So you get that dough, and then you get cotton candy to add just a little more hint of sweetness. I love these three 
scent notes together. So it is a little darker, but it's not like, it's not masculine. It's not cologne -y. It's just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And it's such a strong performer. If you've never tried this, I highly recommend you try it. It's such a unique blend and it's so, so good. Ferris Wall After Dark. And then lastly, another one of my favorites, I pulled Twin Flame. So this is kind of like opposite vibes of everything else, but I thought if I got tired of all these aquatic, fresh, fruity scents that I have to pull this one. Twin Flame is Vanilla Birch, Campfire Marshmallow, and Sugar Cookie. This is the creamiest, most beautiful blend. It is so good, you guys. So the Vanilla Birch is like the star, in my opinion. I love Vanilla Birch, and then you get the creaminess and the bakery element of the sugar cookie. The Campfire Marshmallow gives it just a little bit of hint of campfire. Sweetness from the marshmallow. It's gorgeous. This is creamy, just Vanilla Birch goodness. So good, and for when I'm in the mood, I feel like I'm always in the mood for these types of scents, but if I just needed a break from like the aquatic fruity, I could pull this to warm. So that's everything for like my spring melting basket. Thought that might be better than a March melting basket just so it's not so overwhelming and I feel a little bit more accomplished because I have a couple of months to get through these scents as well as the vendor focused April Lee Wax Queens tag. So stay tuned for March for the vendor specific melting basket tag from her. And then, um, yes, so follow along with me on my bi-weekly empties and unempties videos to see how much I get through and what I think about these all on warm. But that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all on my next video very soon. Bye.